Hey, you're well, welcome to another Glide tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to build a learning management system. Yeah. Lots, of, lots, of, lots of people sell courses. If you sell courses or if you build for clients that sell courses, you sell materials, you know, videos, people can watch and just, you know, make money from it. That's what I'm, I'm going to be showing you how to create. So first thing first, let's go to a database. So, you know, when you want to create any Glide app, you have to create a database first. So the first thing you see, we have several feeds. We have our home page right here. We have users, you know, users, we always have the name, email, and image. And also we have trainings. These are all the trainings we're doing. We have the trainer, training title. Uh, we have the length of the training. We have the cover image, rating, and a few other feed attached to it. Don't worry, I'm gonna leave the, I'm gonna leave the, the link to the sheet on the video. The link to this sheet is on the video description, so you can always go grab it and you know just play with it if you want to. And also, we have the tutorial video right here. Tutorial video, we have it right here, and so you can. You see, we have trainings, we have lesson number, two title, description, video, and the image. The image we're going to fix that on uh, on Glide later today. And you can see something common here: the the training title and the the training right here, they are quite similar. The reason is because we have a particular training that have lots of lessons under it. And so we have to be able to take like that this lesson is for this training and this training is for this lesson. So that's why they're coming. And also you can see resources too. Uh, we have, the, we have tra training and the resource name. So one particular resource can belong to a particular training can have multiple resource. Yes. And the resource belong to multiple resource belong to one training. So let's just go ahead and quickly set up our glider. So we'll go ahead and create our glider application. Click on the plus sign above and, and just you know name your project the best way you can. You can always change it. We're going to call it an LMS. Choose the glider app and say continue. Then choose Google Sheet and say continue. Um, then we we'll just go ahead and choose the sheet we created right here. This is a sheet we created. It's called the learning management app sheet. We'll choose it right here and say select. That's what we want to do. Say select. Just give Glide some time. It will definitely populate your new application. That's how sweet Glide is. So next, go to your settings. This is the first thing I always tell everyone to do. Click on your privacy and say public with email. And also go to your appearance and choose your favorite team. You know, I like I like my team to be really bold. You know, maybe I like colors, but I like my team to be very bold. And uh, blue is just great for me. Then also let's go to our database. Go to our database. You see we have all our sheets, trainings, tutorial. So we have all the sheets about the sources and everything we want to use. And then let's go to our tutorial video. You can see we have images, but we've not filled it. So we'll change this to our image feed. So glad we know it's an image. And we'll just put some very, very funny, very funny image. You just type glide up here, you see some nice images. Or let's type bubble. I think bubble is what we're doing it with. I just gonna put this like bubble. It's bubble IO. Okay, let's just let's just put this. No, put this red glide, let's type glide. We're going to race through this as fast as possible. Let's start. So, normally you're supposed to have an image for each and every one of these, but it really depends on how you want to, how you want to view the application. Sometimes you don't have to, you can just have users click to your application immediately. Uh, you don't have to really, you know, do this. But I'm just doing it for, just to make the application really beautiful. That's the reason why I'm doing this. Just to make it as beautiful as I can. That's why I'm doing this. So I'm gonna cancel. And then go to glide out. Then this is the last one. Glide out. Yeah, this is the last one. So we have, we, we, we're done. So let's go ahead and create a relationship. Like I told you before at the beginning, so we have trainings, same training title, and also we have tutorial, same training title. So let's just go ahead and create a relationship. 
Okay, relationship between the training and the train tutorial video. So we say, rel. We say, training tutorial. Well, so we just call this a relationship. Call this a relationship, and what we want to relate, we want to relate the training title, and also then we want to go to our training, we want to go to our, we want to go to our tutorial video and call it and relate it with the training. That's what we want to do. Then we say match multiple because we want to be able to say, hey. Multiple one training have multiple tutorials, but one tutorial have it belongs to one training. So we say match multiple, match multiple, and you see all the trainings that belongs to a particular tutorial will definitely show up right here. So that's one way to do. Let's go to our resource, and now we want to also match the. We also want to match the training and the resource. So we we'll go to our training back there, create another relationship, create another relationship. And say resource training. And don't forget if your videos, if each of your trainings, your course, your lessons have resources, you're not going to link it in the you're not going to link it uh, in the training video. Instead, you're going to link it in the tutorial video. So you can always pull out the resource that belongs to a particular training. Yeah. So let, let's just do this so you see what I'm talking about. So we go for training title resource and we say training and you say much multiple that's fine so if you have this tutorial video right here this tutorial video have each of these lessons have a particular resource attached to it the way you do it you would link the resource with the training title instead of what you have here is the title then you say you put the title here and put the resource the title create a new feed and put the title right here so that the, you will be able to know the resource that belongs to one lesson. So what you will be linking will be lesson title to lesson title instead of the regard. So let's go quickly build our application. For the users, for the user sheet, we don't want that. We just hide that. Yeah, we just hide the user sheet. Uh, training video, tutorial training. Okay, that's fine. Tutorial videos, that's fine. So this is what we'll do. We'll go to our trainings. We don't need this tutorial video actually, so we'll just take it away. We don't really need it. Just take it away. We just need the home and the training. That's all we need. So for the training, we just for the training, we're going to give it a we're going to give it a card. Should we give it a card or yeah, let's give it a card. Make it pretty big. Go to edit. Yeah, you can see for this for details, we say training description, that's what we'll add. For title, we would say training title, that's what, that's what we we'll add. Then for the trainer, just leave it the way it is. And also for the card style, we we'll say four by, uh, four by three. I like this style because it's huge and it's just comfortable with the screen. That's why I like it. And also for the button, we can say favorite. That will create a new favorite tab in the database. If you go to your training now, you will see a new favorite tab right there in the database. So you can see right here if it's favorite or not. So let's go, let's go. So what else, what else do you want to add? Uh, we're done, we don't want to add anything. So what happens when this, when this uh, uh, training video is clicked? Click on it. You see what we're gonna, what we're gonna get? What, what we're gonna, when this is clicked, it's, uh, um, we want to display all the tutorials that's there. All the tutorials that is there and we want our, uh, our students to watch it. Meanwhile, the student will definitely must be logged in, you know, you must have been able to fix all that before you get here. So let's go ahead, we'll just take away all this. We'll take away all this and we'll bring out a list, that's what we'll do. We'll add a list. We'll add a list to it, an inline list. And we'll say this list is a type of what? What's this list is, it, is a type of what? So you can see the list already is collecting value from the relationship. That's what it's collecting value from. Remember this uh, relationship we created, we created in the training, this relationship we created, that's where the list is collecting it from. So it's pulling out all the videos, all the, all the videos that belongs to a particular training. That's what it's doing. So when I click on a particular video, on the particular tutorial, so if I click on the bubble tutorial, 
it pulls out all the video that belongs to the bubble tutorial that's what, it, that's what it's doing so let's go screen title screen title we just call it uh, um, lessons as we'll call it and we'll go back to our inline list and instead of this title instead of this tutorial relationship we'll just call it lesson videos yeah that's what we call it and for the values the values belong to this training tutorial reel that's what that's where the values is coming from and so we can go ahead and just you know set up our set up our item set up our item to you know should be very very beautiful very nice but uh th this that's the that's the much we can do with with the list the list we can't do so much with the list but we can do a lot more with the tiles can, you can see all the videos that belong here you can do a whole lot more with the tiles we can sell the tiles to be we can set it to be a three by one square or we can sell it to be circles if we want to or we can set it to be a three by four vertical but we don't want to or uh, we can set it to be a, a, a four by three square. So these are all the videos that belongs to that belongs to uh, um, that belongs to our course. And also we can make it two videos per row if we want to. Two videos per row. Well, I think I think probably we we'll just make it two videos per row. That's fine. And then we can say we can tag we can tag it uh, based on lesson number. You can say this is lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, lesson four, and also we can also sort it based on the lesson number if we want to. So now it's just appearing the way it's just appearing differently. We can sort it based on the lesson number, of which that's what we're going to do. Let's go to our options, click on the options, and say sort. We'll sort, sort order, we'll sort based on lesson number from lesson one, two, and three. That's how we're going to sort it. So A to Z, that's it. So we're not grouping by anything because we don't have, because each of the courses don't have intermediate, beginners, you know, stuff like that. So we're not grouping by anything. So that's it. So when a person click on this video, when a person click on this video, and we can also add an instruction here to say, hey, click to watch it. You can add an instruction that says click, click to watch it. Or we can add a tiny description beneath it to say, hey, click to watch it. So let's just add a tiny description right here. That would be a test. That will be a test. Uh, uh, that will be an end. A test. A tiny test that says, "Hey, you have to click this to just watch it." So let's add a rich test to it. Let's add a rich test to it. The rich test will be custom. So we'll just say, "Hey, put a couple of stars and say click to watch the lessons." Put a couple of stars. Right. Oh, I thought I thought Markdown was supposed to. Since this was this was supposed to work, right? Oh, I think it's a hash hash or something. Yeah, it's a hash hash. So click to watch the lessons. That's it. That's it. So then, when they click on it, when they click on it, what do you want to happen? So this is where we get to get a whole lot more creative. So when they click on it, we just want them to want them to want the video title to show up, the lesson title to show up, or we just want the video to show up, the video for that course to show up. So we we'll put it right here. So we want the video for that course to show up. Thank you. So the video for that course, how to get started with Glide, and then also we want the video, we want the video title, we want the test. So we just put test. Uh, we'll put rich te uh, test. So for the test, we want the video to show up. That's what we want. We want a video. This will be the title. How to get started with Glide. So we'll give it an H3 right there. Then also we want to duplicate this. Just duplicate this. And call it a footnote. Just call it a footnote and make it the description. Yeah, the description, and then we want to put we want to put a bo a button that would allow people to say, "Hey, I'm going to favorite this lesson or not." So that's what we want to do. So we're going to say, "I'm going to favorite this lesson," or "We like not favorite this lesson," and we want to make it 
want to make it something that belongs to the user. So Blind already has that already. So we just put a favorite button. So we say, uh, uh, um, do you like this lesson or don't you like it? Or we're going to say add to favorite. So let's just add a choice button that says add to favorite to choice. Is it choice? Let's add an add to a switch. Yeah. That's what we'll add. We'll add a switch button that says add to favorite. So right here, we'll just say add to favorite. So the column will be, the column would be the favorite column. That's what we'll do. The column will be a favorite button column. Uh, that's what the column is going to be. So we'll just, uh, um, we'll just add another column right here. Add another column and just call it favorite. But we're going to delete, we're going to delete it. We just don't want to go to the database. We just want Glide to create that column for us. So we just, so if we, if we go back to our, our sheet, our tutorial video sheet, you would see there's a column now. So this is the same column we're going to be using for, this is the same column we're going to be using for the add to, add to favorite uh, column or add to watch list. We're just going to be using both of them. So delete, remove this one, and just go here and say add to favorite or add to watch list. Add to watch list. So the column right here will be Whoa, the column right here is supposed to be add to the watch list. Add to watch list column, it's not here. Okay, let's just go ahead and create a column that says watch list. That says add it to watch list. Add to watch list. So for the add to watch list, it will be a it will be it will be a favorite it will be a a, a a boolean it will be a boolean column yes it will be a boolean column where is it so let's do it again it will be a boolean the reason why it's be it, it's a boolean is because you just want to record it that a particular user it's adding a it's adding a particular feed a particular trading video to the watch list so it's going to be a boolean. So I'm going to do it again. It's user specific. So I'm going to say add to watch list. So it's just going to record every video that this particular person put on the watch list. That's just, that's just what it's going to record. So now you're saying yes or no, yes or no. But no, it's just going to record it per user. So based on that particular user, that's what it's going to do. So I'm going to go back to my switch, add to watch list. So that's what's going to happen. So it's just going to populate that column when it says add to watch list. So if I click it right here and we go back to our database, our sheet, you'll be able to see that um, the, it's going to work per user. It's going to work for every user. You can see this one is checked, but it's not going to be checked for another user. If we change the user viewing this document to anyone, you would see it's not going to be checked for, let's just create the user quickly. Let's create a user quickly just to, to show you what I'm talking about. Add a row. Let's just create a user quickly. Uh, my username is JS Paul, Paul Adams. My email will be Paul Art Words Paul Codeword.com. So that's it. So I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna switch viewing to I'm going to switch you into I'm going to switch you into this other guy. So um, now the, 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 the glide is not switching the viewer, and I don't know why. So I'm going to switch you to this other guy. know why glide is not seeing it but it's fine so when I go to my when I go back to my tutorial video you can see that it's not checked it's not added to the watch list as I'm viewing with another user why because we said this column is user specific so that's what it's gonna do so we'll close 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 so that's basically what it's gonna do then also we'll just populate it with other videos so we'll put a separator right here. I hope it's not too long. So we're 19 minutes already. That's long. 
So we'll put a separator video. Let's just quickly put a separator, we'll put a separator video, and we we'll just make it a big, a bit uh, uh, medium spacing, and then we'll, put, we'll add other videos to it. So we'll put a list again. We we'll just no, 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 not, not, not this, not this, not this. Let's go to our trainings. Click, click. So we'll put a list at the bottom of it. Click on the plus sign, and then put a list again. So we'll put a list at the bottom of it right here. Put a list. And so what this is going to show us, this is just going to show us other videos, you know, other videos, a list of videos. That's what it's going to show us. It's going to show us training videos, a list of training videos. That's what it's going to show us. But we want it to show us the video that belongs to this guy. So we want it to show us videos that belongs to this particular, this particular, um, this particular guy, that's what we wanted to show us. So we go like sort, filter, the the training, the, the training, uh, the training, where the training, where the training doesn't include, doesn't include current, what it doesn't include current, training so so what's populating is populating all the training that doesn't include um, um, current training title and also where the training yet the training where this training does not include does not include So, so this is not coming out well, but for us to do this, we have to go back to our sheet again and create another relationship. So we'll go to our tutorial video and just create another relationship so that we'll be able to sort which, which uh, uh, um, tutorial belongs to which training all over again. So we just go here. So this time it will be the tutorial, tutorial training rail relationship. And we'll just call it a relationship. Call it a relationship and we'll just say where the training matches where the training matches the um, where the training matches the training title. Not the training title, forgive me. Where the training matches the trainer. Is it trainer? Oh no, forgive me. We had the we had the training. Yeah, where the training, where the training matches the tutorial training. So that's it. Where the training matches the tutorial training. We're not going to match multiple because one true tutorial video belongs to multiple training. So we'll go back to our application so we can do that sort. Uh, we'll come back right here. We'll come back right here and just you know click on this. Click on this and just gonna call it the values. Go to our sort. Just sort where the training, where the training, where the training is not. Current screen training. So, oh, oh, forgive me. Where the training is current screen training. I think that's it. Where the training is current screen training. So that's where it is. So you can see uh, we have creating features, creating features, creating. Uh, so the one we just watched right now is creating features. That's it. So we have these other training, and we have these other training that have not been. So currently, we're saying when the training is this is part of this training. So you're going to show these are the ones that are part of the training right now, and we can also say when the training. We can also say where the. We can also say where the training. Where the training title. 
that a lesson number is not but that's for a number. We can also say when the training where the training is where the training doesn't include the one that's on the screen right now. Where the training title. Yeah. So finally got it. Where the training title doesn't include the one that's on the screen right now. So so that we don't have to I'll have our users go over this training all over again. So that's it. Those are the those are the tutorial videos that could work. So we'll just be like um we'll just do this as next lesson. Next lesson. So we just do next lesson and so they click on this, they watch it all over again and it goes all the way to the next lesson. This could also be a card, it could be a card, it could be a whole lot more. But this is just basically the basics, so you just keep clicking and they are watching all the way. And now they can go back to they can go back to the training all the way again. It can go back to your training and do the same for the other application right here. Right here, they just keep going and they can watch as many times as possible. So for the for the home page, the home page can be for the home page, the home page can be similar. So this is where you put all your tests, you know, you put welcome to the application, you put all your tests. So I'm gonna cover that in the next video. I think this video is pretty long, so I'm gonna cover the home page in the part two of this video.